Hello everyone and welcome to my channel from LED Scraps and Creations. Today I'm really excited. We're going to start a new junk journal. It's going to be desert themed. So I've been all weekend fussy cutting all sorts of these are quotes. Uh, then we have lots of uh, labels that have been filled. So this is part of my Etsy kit. And these are empty labels, all in the colors of like desert, sand, and everything. Um, got more here. Yeah, I've been really, really busy. There's five different junk journals that I'm planning. And these are the different uh, images that I found online. They're all free of rights, copyrights free. So I will put them in my Etsy kit as well, in case you're interested. And we have, so that was just for one journal, and this is for the other journals. And then I found some images as well in books. So these are uh, Saharan animals. All right, so that's it for the embellishments. And then we have the pages. Uh, when it comes to the pages, I've been I've been planning this journal for quite a while, to be honest. So I've been just putting uh, pages that reminded me of the Sahara and stuff in a pile and just keeping them there. So we have, um, this is scrapbook paper, different styles. I will cover this up here. And we have five, the number of journals we're going to make. Then to me, uh, the desert, the Sahara is very connected to blue, to indigo. So there is a bit of blue in my embellishments. Uh, and I'm going to add these pages from, um, from a, an agenda that I have. Then we have some small pages. These are pages from a book and there's Sahara Desert pages that I will add as well. Then I found these in, um, um, what's it called, an encyclopedia and we have lots of different um, things about, you know, the desert and around that area. And then these are pages that I have dyed at home with yellow inks and orange uh, liquid watercolor. I've put a video on how I've done this uh, with blue, not the yellow ones. And I've used some plastic lace to get some details as well on the pages. And I have uh, scanned some of these pages so they are also available for download and printing. And then I have a book that I found. It's a children's book. It was going to the bin. So I picked it up and I'm going to use it in my drink journals as well. I'm pretty excited about this. It looks really good. And then we have my uh, digital kit that I've made. So there's four pages for each junk journal. They're all different. And as you can see, I've removed the sides. You know, there was the, the white little side. Uh, and then I've cut every single page like this. And this is what I'm going to do with all the hand dyed pages so that they look like dunes. It's gonna be a bit something like this. It's gonna be really great. I can't wait. Uh, so yeah, that's all my stuff prepared. Oh, and I also got this that I bought online. I'm really happy with this. I haven't... It's all brownish papers that I can't wait to use in this drink journal absolutely lovely papers. I'm so excited to use this. Alright, so um, 
what I usually do is I've been planning this for a while so I have my little journal where, where I write how many pages of each I want. I want a hundred pages per junk journal. As you know, probably a junk journal, uh, a page. So you have a sheet of paper. I'm gonna do it this way. A sheet of paper like this one is equal to four pages in a journal because you have so one sheet of paper is one two three four so if i want 100 pages in my journals it means i need 25 sheets of paper in my journals first step we're going to um, attach these together i was missing a page so i added one like this and i'm just literally going to glue them together with masking tape like so So that's one page, then we have another one. I don't really have anything thinner, but I think it's fine. I could put transparent maybe. I'm not a fan of the how it looks, you know, it's shiny, but I think it will be fine here. So how are you guys today? It's been a pretty exciting week for me because I've been putting everything together for this journal and another one. Um, I'm also planning like a nature journal. We will see in which order they come out that I finish them because I tend to start journals and then finish them like a while later. <laughs> I actually started putting things up for the Sahara Journal uh, a really long time ago. I started thinking about it. Oh, oh yeah, it's okay. Um, back in February when I started my Ocean Journal journals. So it's it really has been a while of just thinking about how to put everything together, what exactly I want in these journals, finding book pages, finding this children's um, desert book as well. And if you know me, uh, you know I prefer to use upcycled material, so it's books that are going to the bin books and other materials like paper that's really a big preference of mine of course you can't do that every single time you do need some actual paper in your journals you can't just have book pages so i do buy uh the papers that i hand dye uh although when i use vintage paper that is uh, naturally yellowish that's that's also upcycled but I don't have a lot of it so I tend to just tea dye my own pages and I keep the vintage ones for vintage projects actual vintage projects all right so we have Five of these. I don't have a lot of space in front of me. I usually do this on the floor, especially when I have five. 
So I'm going to leave you guys for a minute and and I'm just going to, to do this. Uh, okay, one thing that we could do together before I go is I'm going to show you how I prepare these pages. It's very simple. We want dunes. So I just go and make dunes. Something like this. This paper is not liking me. There. Something like this. We have dunes. I'm just going to put them on this side as well. The hard thing is not to do the same decoupage every time because otherwise you're not going to see the dunes, you're just going to see the same thing over and over again. <laughs> so that's the hard part. Sometimes you need really big ones, sometimes you need really small ones. So that's it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink the pages. Actually, I should probably do a bit. more like this and then I'm going to ink the pages uh, I'm going to show you how I do that uh, where is my ink so what I do is I'm just going to grab I'm going to change this and I've got these two uh, mellow gold metallic ink and golden retriever chalk in their deco time and I'm just gonna use them and then just you know the drill and this is gonna give a bit of relief you know they're gonna pop out and I'm also gonna use a bit of my favorite ink which is vintage photo because it looks pretty good and that's it and like this you can see how it pops out a bit and I'm gonna uh, do sometimes yellow sometimes this orangish and then sometimes the vintage paper so that it's not always the same color uh, per journal so first I'm going to prepare the pages and put them for each journal I also want to see how I'm going to prepare these pages because they're pretty big and I would love to be able to use them this way and I think we can cut them here that would look really cool and then I could maybe have more than one. Oh, this is adorable because this is really really long but maybe I could cut it or just fold it like this yeah I could that would look really good so let's see how many pages we have I have one two single ones one two three four uh, and one, two, three, four. Okay, it's actually perfect. So, no, I'm missing one. I'm missing one page. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm missing one single page. Uh, so we can't do that. <laughs> Unless one, one book just... Well, I'm going to I'm going to think about this. Um, yeah. Let me think about it. I'm going to prepare the pages and I will get back to you uh, in a second. Cuz for you no time is going to go. It's going to pass. All right. And I'm going to use this as well probably as the cover of one of the journals. I still need to think of uh, if I want the cover to be really hard like this 
or if I want it to be softer and covered in cloth um, in which case I will use you know cardboard from um, food storage stuff all right all right I'm gonna get ready I'm gonna prepare all this and I will see you soon see ya Here I am using a glass chopping board. It's a Tim Holtz tip to help the foam to last longer. And I think it also helps to keep the color longer on your on your foam because you can just reuse the, the color that's been just left on your uh, glass board instead of just being lost if you do it on paper, like on top of a paper thing. Once all my pages are inked, I will position them within my journal to have as much variety as possible. So in between pages with lots of images, for instance, I will position a plain page, a plain page and that will help to have like this variety that I really like. And then I will do this with every single journal. So it took me pretty much all day. Well, not pretty much, just all day. Um, but here it is. All the pages are prepared and inked. And it, I'm pretty, pretty happy about the how it looks. And uh, I want to put a couple of pockets on. I haven't prepared this one and let me show you the pockets I have. Yes, my pockets. So this is a technique I've used in my ocean journals as well. This is a double page and I'm just folding it as usual and then we're going to use it as a pocket. So I'm going to make a couple different pockets. I'm just going to tear it just as I did here on the sides. And I'm going to do the same one for this one, but just a bit more in the middle. like so and I'm gonna do this and this and we're also going to add this is some of my um, this is paper for baking paper baking paper that I've just uh, put the colors and I'm gonna put it I want it here, or maybe here, yeah. So let's just ink quickly a bit everywhere. I'm gonna use old paper, distress ink.
I did use a few different methods to add pockets in my other junk journals, like the ocean ones. So if you're interested in adding pockets this way, do have a look at my videos. Oh, they're pretty cool. <laughs> have you guys made any pockets like this? Do you even have double pages or is it like a French thing? We use these a lot in school, pretty much for everything. I'm going to ink this as well, um, it's a bit flimsy so I'm just using my glass chopping board so it's easier to handle. I hope I'm not moving the camera too much. Also, this is something I've been meaning to ask you guys. Um, I would love to change my settings. Apparently my camera is, I mean my phone is not amazing and the quality is not amazing, especially um, the sound apparently is not very good. So I would love to know what you think. If the sound is really bad or if it's okay. <laughs> oh, this is much better. Yeah, I'm just gonna ink this side better. And also, uh, what do you guys use? I mean, I just have like a, an arm holding my phone and a light. And it's it's not very high, so sometimes I have to like put books or something to make it go a bit higher. It's not ideal. So I'm thinking about changing this and getting some new equipment. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, I would love to hear them. Love, love, love to hear them. I'm pretty bad at this stuff. Or if you have like, if you've started looking into this and have any ideas or things you've thought about but haven't tried yet, anything really, just I would love to have your thoughts on all of this. Okay, to glue this, I'm gonna glue the bottom and the top here. And I did think that the wrapping paper wouldn't glue too well, but with tacky glue, I haven't had a problem. So I'm pretty happy. Because I thought it would just like fail miserably. And it hasn't. But you probably definitely can't use like UHU glue. I don't think that's gonna be enough to be honest. And then we're gonna ink, oh sorry, we're gonna glue the center and the sides here. in case there is too much glue somewhere because it's pretty annoying to get drops of glue everywhere and then it's just not ideal I don't like it all right so that's one pocket done so we have one two three four since it's a double page of course and then let's do this one And I don't really have enough, I think. Uh, maybe I do. 
I'm gonna use this. Yeah. All right. <coughs> Sorry. Let's start with <coughs> the bottom. Okay, my glue is just really annoying. If you want to know, these are the glues I'm finishing. So they're all, you know, face down to kind of get the glue out. But it's taking forever. And I don't like to throw things away that are not finished. This is a pretty cool technique. Oh, I would love to know also, um, have you guys used Fabri tag? Are there any French people who use Fabri tag and where do you get it? Um, is it as good as it seems to be? Because it looks like everybody uses it. And the bottom here. And once it's once it's dry, I'm gonna cut well tear 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 on that side. Second pocket done with four again. Pretty happy about this. Now I'm going to tear this a little bit. with this. This is from the book and I'm just gonna use it as a pocket and then we can decorate any areas like maybe here if we don't like the writing. Just putting some in the middle.
well, that was pretty simple, wasn't it? I'm just gonna wait for it to dry until I close it in half. And then we can prepare the signatures. So I've already made one with the signatures and I'm gonna reuse this everywhere. The idea is to put these ones, uh, one in each signature. I've also varied the yellow, the orange, uh, this is the vintage paper, vintage photograph, uh, this the orange, the yellow, vintage photograph. You know, I've varied all the colors so that it looks pretty, you know, varied. Um, and then I've also put the odd papers, as I call them. And here is a pocket. I've put the pockets a bit everywhere and this is an odd paper. There's the journal the book pages also that I've covered this one was a bit odd there was nothing on this side so I've just put it I've left this side because there's a Sahara and a little dot but I might add other stuff later on even here put some decorations uh, and you can see here some pages from the encyclopedia my digital kit That's the book page, digital kit again, pages from the book. That's my page, uh, my pocket, sorry. And then the last signature is here. So there's four signatures with the pocket we just made, the digital kit. And that's it. So that's how I'm planning my books. They're all going to be pretty much the same thing uh, inside with the pages and probably the decorations as well because I printed out five times everything. So I'm gonna do it on one and we're gonna do it together. Um, oh, I've also there is some of these that I think are really cute one side and the other from the book from when I cut it so I've kept them five of them even more I think and we're gonna use them either as cards or tags or uh, bookmarks stuff like this as well and yeah so I think what we're going to do now is we're going to start preparing our cover the journal cover we need to think about what we want on the covers and what size i think they're gonna be about three centimeters my journals i think that's a decent size uh, size and then how we're going to close them that's really important i always forget every time you do your cover think about the closure because it's really important uh, if you're gonna put something on top you know and you put a lot of decorations and you just can't put something on top it's just a bit annoying so think about it first so I'm gonna think about the covers and we're gonna cut them to size and then we're going to decorate them I'm so excited all right so I think I will see you guys in the next video and I can't wait to move forward with these journals. <laughs> See you soon. Bye, guys.